Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's going on, yo? Um, first off, Happy New Year. It's 2019, y'all. Welcome to a new year, man. I'm excited about it because I'm all doing a great thing right now. Um, man. So, welcome to a new year, first off. Um, I think I'm back 100% now. I'm going to get this fixed up today, get my hair done and all that. So I'm not looking crazy anymore for 2019. That uh, sciatic back injury is something serious, man. I um, feel a lot better today. I've been getting a lot of rest. And then the rest of my back quite a bit. So um, yesterday was a bit rough, but today's a lot better, man. I actually got some huge inspiration today, man. Um, I found out about this guy. Um, he is the only, and this is inspirational to me because we have a lot of commonalities. He had a rough upbringing. Um, you know, he was put down a lot growing up and all that kind of stuff. And then um, uh, he joined the military, right? And he's the only guy, both of us served in Iraq and Afghanistan. Unlike him, I flunked out of uh, ranger school. I did go to ranger school in 2001. I went to, uh, it was a pre-ranger, like RIP, RIP uh, ranger, the ranger introduction program is what it was. And um, yeah, I just, I injured my knee, my, I think it was my patella or something, and uh, some part of my leg, I don't remember the actual part, I think that's what it was. Um, and it was from running in airborne school, because in airborne school, airborne school is really close to where the ranger injured at the time. It, uh, this is how it was then, I don't know how it is now, but. Uh, the Ranger Rip is what they call it was like literally the barracks was like right across the breezeway from where airborne school was so in airborne school we had to do a lot of uh, a lot of running but not in sneakers we had to run in army boots so it made it very difficult on my knees and ankles and uh, I actually uh, had mad shin splints and I messed up let me make sure I'm telling you the right thing I think that's what it was I can't remember the actual part I think that's what it was uh, let me look it up real quick. And um, <clears throat> I ended up uh, quitting after like uh, two weeks of that because I think it, yeah, that's what it was, the patella. Yeah, so I ended up saying, screw this. I'm not really an infantry guy. I didn't join the army to kill people, to go through all that crazy stuff. But I did want to be, you know, a little more elite than like just like the regular army i want to do something a little more cool and that's why i decided to go to ranger school i signed up for it right out of real i was like 17 when i did this so i thought you know i knew the, the thing about it was i always hated running i never liked to run because i always had problems with my knees and ankles but um i said you know what if i'm gonna do this i'm gonna go be a badass you know what I mean? but i didn't really it was like um i'm gonna do it but if this shit like hurts or tries to kill me i'm not gonna like you know go kill myself and do it because it's not like that's not the reason i joined i joined the army to get away from people i just joined to get away from people because there's some people around me that i really didn't um think would be productive for my future so i just got away from it it was it was a way out right so um I ended up going to the 82nd Airborne Division. If you haven't heard, heard the story before, but you're going to hear it right now. I ended up going to the 82nd Airborne Division, uh, Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Three, third Brigade, uh, the uh, 3505, what they call it. Um, and I was in headquarters, headquarters got me for a little bit. Then I went to Charlie Pilkins. Uh, actually, today, matter of fact, uh, January 2nd, 2004, was my first day in Charlie Company as a sergeant. 20 years old, I just got promoted to sergeant. I don't have a photo of but I just got promoted to sergeant. And um, I was in Iraq at the time. <clears throat> so I took, that, I took the company um, as the company supply sergeant, and that meant that I had to do my workload would increase a whole lot more because I went from pretty much having kind of like a cush job almost. I was in a secured location in Iraq, really close to Fallujah. It was called, um, I think I called called MBK at the time. Um, I was in that secure location and um, after I got promoted to sergeant, 
that's when like shit really got crazy for me in Iraq. So, but I did do I, I did do some like outside of wiretap work from like um, uh, when I got there in I think July to August. I got there in August, so like the middle of August, going into September, I had this crazy detail for two weeks where we just cleaned up bodies. That was just ridiculous, and then. Um, January when I took that company, I was on the road every day, meaning I was in convoys every single day, getting shot at, getting the hats blown up, cheating at people, doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, for that lasted, I went all the way through, I think Valentine's Day, so like the third of Jan, the second or third of January till Valentine's Day was every single day, just about. Maybe it was like three days on, one day, half the day we didn't do convoys or something. And then it, it was like that all the time. But I remember Valentine's Day because that's when we were on a convoy and the convoy had got hit from, we got hit from seven days of chain IEDs and we had one guy, I forget his name now, but he had lost his arm from like right above the elbow and his, um, his weapon disintegrated, but he couldn't find his weapon. That was a big deal. We actually caught a medevac in for him. He had, he had suffered some really bad brain damage and stuff. I went to see the Walter Reed after we had got back, but... Um, and then we took a couple of days off because we had one of our guys, Burke Bates, he, um, Burke, that he was, he was going back to Fort Bragg, um, because his wife was, she was in the military too, she, she, she was coming to Iraq and they hadn't seen each other in like a year and a half or something because the year before we had went to Afghanistan and when we came back from Afghanistan, she was going to Afghanistan and then she's coming from Afghanistan and we're going to Iraq. So they had to see each other this whole time. So they, they allowed them to come back a little early from Iraq this time. <clears throat> so they can at least put eyes on each other for a little bit. And then that was like a two or three days. We were in Baghdad. We didn't do any, anything. Just hung out for a couple of days. And then it was back to the road every day. And then all of a sudden, like right around like the first or second week of March, the order just came out. Pack your shit up. We're leaving. We're leaving. It was just like out of nowhere. Um, and um, it just got crazier then. I don't even know why I'm telling you this, but it got really insane after that. Just convoys and all kinds of crazy stuff. But um, this guy, yeah, so that was my story. This guy, anyway, he he went on to uh, be a real fucking badass man. This dude is the only guy in the military history to go through Navy SEAL training, Army Ranger School, and uh, the Air Force TAC training. So that's really bad. I'm where I quit because I screwed up my knee. That guy went through butts three times, you know what I'm saying? And I, I mean, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm not gonna, yeah, he, he, buzz could pop my ass, I'm not gonna lie. Because I, I met some Navy SEALs in real life, and the shit they told me about that shit, I'm like, fuck that shit. Anyway, um, it is what it is, you know, I thank all, if you're a service member, I thank you for your service. And, um, I, I just, I just, I just, I just, I'm bullshit. They got my old beret right here. It's from my 173rd days. Yeah, I was. I did go through airborne school, though, so that, you know, I did do that at least. I don't know why, it's just randomly in here, but it's just in there, it's dirty as shit. But this thing is still in there. Like, I've had this, this is probably my very first parade I've ever had when I went to airborne, when I came from airborne school, so. It's pretty significant for me, you know. It's pretty significant. Do I miss it? Some days, I miss the old days when we used to use the, you know, the old uniform, the army was different back then, but it is what it is now. But anyway, um, so, 2019, man, this is the year, what's going on for 2019? Um, lots happening, man. I'm doing quite a, a number of different things now. Uh, I was able to set up while I was on bed rest. I'm sorry I didn't make any videos during that time, man. It was pretty painful. Um, most times I was under a lot of medication, a lot of drugs, just to try to deal with the pain. Um, because I've never experienced anything like that before in front of backaches. And when I did the research, I had to go do the DA today, as a matter of fact, to get evaluated about it because that was, um, that was pretty scary. I thought I was literally losing my ability to, to walk. So I don't want to experience that again because, um, they're going to have to pay me for the rest of my life for that kind of crap. But, um, let's dive on in real quick. Let me show you guys some update, man, from 2020. 18 into 2019. Let's see what's been going on since the last uh, video where I shared with you guys results on um, people that are actually 
having massive success, right? With a multiply. So let me go over to my other account. So this is my uh, newer Facebook account that I'm working on right now. So let's do this. Let me take you over here to where I'm at and show you. what we're doing for 2019, what I'm focused on. Oh, and I finished up the Things Grow Rich book, the one that Don Green sent me. Uh, I'm gonna probably try to call him today and just thank him for it, because it really helped me to, um, it really helped me to identify where I was having some challenges with myself, and I'm sure with it, and be able to deal with them here mentally. So it's definitely, uh, a blessing to say the least that I've been able to identify those issues those challenges because of that and now I have in front of you the mental capacity and focus to really dive into these books because I still have them here I'm, the, I'm going through I gotta get a new copy of this but I'm going back through things are rich right now and then read feet from gold as well and I've actually I actually did message Greg um I was sharing it with Greg yesterday, with the story with me and Don that happened. And um, he's like, yeah, man, this stuff is real. You know, everything that you did in the book, and I met Greg uh, back in 2011, not too long after he wrote that book. So I'm going to, I haven't spoke to him in a while. I'm going to get caught up with him and see what's going on. Because honestly, um, after something that happened to me with a very close, close friend of mine, who I thought was a friend of mine back in, like 20, 2017, uh, um, it really put a really, uh, it sent me on a, a kind of strange path, I should say, which really made things a little bit difficult for, for me to trust people for a little bit, but that's changed now um, because of these exposures, and um, it's really helped me to be able to see where I need to level up and get away from some of these people that are just pretty shady, you know what I mean? Just focus on what's important and doing what's important, not for just for myself, but for the people that I come in contact with. So uh, let me just log in here and show you guys some results real quick. Some people that are, who's been joining, who's been ranking up. I gotta get my butt in here and uh, get back into action mode. We're gonna start to, um, gearing up some webinars and sharing this opportunity with you guys a whole lot more and doing more, um, trainings on the trading and stuff so elizabeth salgado salgado welcome to the team so see the thing is what i love about this opportunity especially in network marketing is the fact that you don't have to let me join this group and get involved in that in the next club on you don't have to be actively working in business, and you can still have your team grow. You know, what I, mean? I mean, obviously, you got to put some work in, right? Welcome to Heisha Myers. You got to put some work in, and then when it gets to a point where you have a few leaders on your team, some people that this is a really cool. I was on this 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 uh, hangout last night um, with Paris, and then I was blown away. I got to watch the first part of it because. This guy that's on here with him, I think this is Paris's sponsor. I'm not exactly sure because I can't see above Paris in my back office, but I think that's Paris's sponsor. And if that's Paris' sponsor, um, I definitely want to dig in and learn more. I'm friends with the guy, but I just never reached out to him. So it's definitely time to get more plugged in. I'm welcome, Nadi, Nadine. Right? Definitely time to get more plugged in and start taking more action because see what Paris is talking about um, on this webinar was. Back at it, back at it, back at it, time to take massive action. It really is because um, it's time to have an explosive growth, growth, growth period. Man. 2019, I, I mean, I've seen myself and a lot of people that have been sustained and have breakthroughs because of this opportunity in 2018. And, and because of that, it's going to continue to grow into 20, um, in 2019. So, Happy New Year. Welcome, Marissa McKinney. So, I'm really pumped up because this is. This is something where I know if 
you guys stay the course with me. You guys follow what we got going on, what we're doing. You're going to see that you two can have results understanding this stuff, and you're not going to get hurt like I did from other places. That's not something I'm going to do to you. If um, there's anything at all, boom, lucky Makayla, if there's anything at all that's going down with the company or anything shady, I'm going to let you know first. And um, I'm going to make sure that we find another vehicle. You know what I'm saying? I have different income streams that I'm going to be sharing with you as well. That I, you know, things that I do with Shopify, with eBay right now that's going on. Um, so I'm not just stuck on one stream of income. Okay, so you see, guys, we got a lot of people joining this team. Man. I mean, a lot of people are like, you know, a lot of people are making money. Um, it seems like the week of Christmas is a little quiet. Because, I mean, it's the holidays and everybody's having, you know, family time and stuff. So it's time to get back to work now because we got bills to pay, getting to make money. We're going into a new year now, so started it you know, so if you're not if you're not on top of what it is um, you need to do in order to ensure that you have sustainable dependable income whether or not you get incapacitated like I was over the last week or what have you then you need to fix that you know what I'm saying if you gotta if you have to be out of work because your kid is sick you have children and mom or dad or your relatives you know need some help or something and you can't man there's a lot of people that join and you can't um be there for them so like that could be a challenge you know what I'm saying and you're the person that they depend on so it's really important that you know you keep that in mind um when you're living your life right and it's not I don't think that not, I think everybody, you know, let me change what I'm saying. Everybody on here has had an experience, and I know I have in the military where you had to do something and your boss is telling you you can't do it because they say so. They don't give a damn, you know what I'm saying? Um, I've, had, I've had that experience. Okay, boom. Well, so we got some scanner trade. I'm check that out. So big. So you see all the people that are that are having success, man. Platinum one thousand, I don't see it for you. Start moving on. So yeah, a lot of people joined the entire three hundred and sixty-five team in the last week, week and a half. Let's go to IML Elite and see <coughs> what's been going on. Come on. Uh, I myself, I gotta get back to I gotta get back to the basics. Uh, also, I gotta go back to some moves, some basic forex training, and get um, get my head back in the game because oh my lord, it's been it's been rough. You, know what I'm you you gotta stay on top of it to um you know stay with the cutting edge because a lot of things change. Moves come out all the time with the markets and just like. Alright, so if you would in the comments, let me know down below in the comments if there's like something in particular that you want me to cover. I'm just showing you results of people joining because I want you to really take action. I want, if, if we're going to do this, I want you to make money with us. I want to have a vested interest in helping you. You know what I mean? And I want to show you that you're secure with us helping you grow, grow a successful business. Okay? So the main thing that I want you to understand from all this is that um whatever it is you need to get comfortable to make it to take action let me know okay i'm gonna have my contact information down below hit me up um if you have any questions you can you better to catch me either on instagram or on facebook i'm always on there i always got my iphone right with me so uh i'll be available right on there and um if you need any help with anything at all just let me know and i'll do what i can i'll do my best to be able to help you to get started with whatever it is um, you need help with, okay? So I'm gonna cut the video short here. I, want, I don't want to keep you here too long with all these bumpers because as you can see, the people are still joining. People are still 
taking action with us. <clears throat> and um, you can too. So with that said, click that link down below. If there's a link for you to get registered, get registered and let me know so I can um, get you in position and start training you on how you can start making money on the internet, generating traffic, because generating traffic and building an email list is the most important part of building, uh, following, and building income online. So with that said, my name is Leo. Talk to you in the next video. Stay up. I just love to see you at the top of the bank most definitely on the beaches of the world. Peace.